I hope you're all prepared for a proper Halloween. What am I supposed to be? Well, I'm the scariest thing of all. Identity theft. That's not that scary. Identity theft is a serious problem, Brian. Millions of people suffer from it every year. Hey, man, I'm just saying. <laughs> and what are you supposed to be, huh? Oh, I'm the scariest thing of all. The 2000s. This episode has been sponsored by the Sanitarium of Unclean Crewer. Who would like to warn all the vampires out there that if you decide to prey on the weak instead of coming to one of our many blood bank facilities, you run the risk of drinking diseased blood? With that first little PSA out of the way, our first story involves dogs. Everyone loves dogs, right? Right. Well, little eight-year-old Reagan loved her dog so much that she decided to bring it back to life. That's right, little Spot will be rejoining his master in the land of the living right in time for Halloween. And I gotta say, way to go, Reagan. After being dead for more than two months, that dog is surprisingly spry. That's some quality dark magic. Good thing, too, because those humans won't eat themselves. While we're on the subject, I just wanted to take a sec to stand on the soapbox of mine and say just because a dog might be undead doesn't mean it deserves any less love or admiration than a dog that is alive. Don't discriminate. Only you can give these dogs a second chance at life. Go to your local cemetery to find a way to adopt an undead friend. Getting back to you vampires out there, this next story is big, and we all have our good friend Science to thank for it. Give my creation! Life! You see, for the first time in history, vampire scientists at the Transylvania Medical School have found a cure for garlic allergies. Now this is a big deal. I mean, we all know what happens when a vampire falls into garlic. Pretty f***ed up stuff. But what's even more important is that this could be the first big step in curing the one thing that is deadly to vampires being associated with the Twilight movies. I know we'll get there one day. Stay strong. Okay, I am really happy about this next one, guys. After many years of waiting, thousands to be exact, one of our many cults have finally awakened our Dark Lord and Savior, Cthulhu! Geez, about time, right? It was actually the Pizza Face cult. I recently went to one of the Pizza Faces and brought him on the show to see what he had to say about this monumental achievement. So, I'm here with one of the Pizza Face members who have successfully summoned Cthulhu. That's wonderful. It's a real honor. What was your favorite part about summoning the Dark Lord? Uh, well, when he awoken, he uh, had some pepperoni pizza for us, which of course we love. And then he said, hey, I'm going to kill all your family. So, it's pretty cool. And when he finally did wake in and he greeted you with his pizza, how did you guys react? We were really happy. And it tasted delicious. The pizza, of course. Uh, and then he made us eat each other. And uh, then started burning us at the stake. And then again, reinforced he's going to kill our fam- And before he eats your soul, what do you want to say to Cthulhu? Well, Cthulhu, it's been an honor. Pizza face, your face. That's what we say. So he's an honorary uh, pizza facer, and uh, yeah, we're going to be worshipping you until you kill us. So, thank you. And that'll just about do it for this week's episode of Sweat Duke. Thanks for joining me on this special Halloween event. And remember, drink lots of blood, meet lots of friends, and don't eat too much candy. The only thing scarier than a trip to hell or having your soul slowly sucked out by a dark monster is going to the dentists. Until I see you again, thank you for watching. What is? Getting to uh, wake in Cthulhu. Cthulhu! <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, it's already recording, but I framed you up. Alright, go ahead and stop the recording. Oh. Oopsies. Peace out, Girl Scout. So, you're. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's a real honor. What, why is it an honor? Cthulhu is a. Cthulhu? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs>